Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about how to over overcome fear and how it's preventing us from living the life that we ought to. Number one, fear is holding you back in your life when you don't take a chance to live. You hide yourself from the world. You don't hide a light. You don't hide a lamp underneath the bed. You go out in the world and show it. Stop fearing rejection and pain. You should be able to confront it head on. I want to tell you that some people are so scared of emotions. They're so disgusted by it. I hate feeling anger. I hate feeling sadness. I hate feeling uncomfortable. I hate feeling those things. I don't want to face it, so I'm going to avoid them at all costs. Feelings are so vital. The bad ones and the good ones. That means your mind's working properly if you have these emotions, okay? Let's just say you went to a social event and all of a sudden sadness arises. You get so overwhelmed from all the people there and you want to cry and you want to go run in the bathroom. That's all right. Because guess what? Now that you're in that situation, you're going to look in the mirror and say, I'm going to go back out there. I'm going to be so uncomfortable. I'm going to be so scared, but I'm going to face it head on. You know that you are going to face, you know, hardships and difficulties, but you're going to face it head on anyway. So brave people are not going to run away from their situations. They're not going to be like, oh, I'm scared and turn and run. You don't run. You stand there and you face it. Even if you're feeling scared, being scared means that you're brave. The more scared you are and you stick out that situation and, you, and slowly your fear, the natural response of being scared will slowly start to dissipate. Part two of this is trusting in God. You need to live a faithful life and understand that God provides for his children. He is not going to be, you know, it's like, oh, whatever. You didn't eat. Okay. You're starving. Okay. I don't care. Oh, you don't have a place to live. Whatever. God is not like that. He really cares and loves us. As you're walking with God and you're following his will, there are things that he has called onto your life. God has called me to be a motivational speaker and guide his people towards healing and helping them to live a appropriate life. But I was working a job and I was making great money and I could easily go back to it if I wanted to. Um, very easy. And <laughs> I left. I had a nice check every week by myself absolutely you know, whatever I wanted, I have enough money for vacation. I had enough money to shop on Amazon, shopping sprees, anything. And I said, you know, this is not the life. Thank you, God, for providing for me. I feel your calling now. I feel like I have to give everything I've got into this. And guess what? I took a leap of faith because Vanessa doesn't have a job right now. And I didn't need one and I don't need one. Do you think that I'm fearful and I'm scared and I want to go run back? How am I going to pay my bills? No, because guess what? The first week, the very first week that I left that position, God provided me money in my bank account. And I wrote an ebook and I started making sales right off the bat off of that. That was enough to sustain for, for that time being. And continuously, God is providing. He's telling me, all right, this is next. This is next. What am I scared of? What am I scared of? Nothing. I'm chilling. I'm fine. Birds are flying. Rainbow. Sun's bright. That's not how I feel. And now that I'm working in, which is media, it's a little rough and it can be a little negative. And I was like attacked by some people. And I was like, wow, like this is actually pretty hard. And that's when I knew I was on the right path when I started to get rejected. When I started to become sad and I started to get really uncomfortable putting myself completely out there. You know, I've always kept my life hidden and been a very private person, you know, especially when I found Christ, like, you know, for two, three years, like I was kind of hidden. I didn't want to go out there. And now I'm doing all of this stuff that's uncomfortable. I'm facing it head on and I'm being brave. And it's almost like what I like to envision, and you guys can take this, is a lion right in front of me just roaring and knowing that that's God paving the way for me. And I literally envision that. Whenever I'm scared, I literally envision a lion just roaring and like a loud roar, like in Narnia, when you see Aslan. I would literally think about that and I'd be like, I'm good. God's got me. He's literally protecting me. And originally I used to think like, oh, like God's behind me and he's the lion. He's roaring to protect me. And then I was like, no, he's in front of me. No, he's paving the way. He's doing this. He's molding my heart. He's shaping me. 
<laughs> and faith is so important. Like if I didn't have this faith, I can only imagine what I'd be doing. God's moving me across the country to go study more of his work and um, psychology. And it was so crazy. I didn't apply to any other school because I felt in my heart and soul that that was what God wanted me to do. Leaving my family, never have been on my own ever. And I said, God, this is what you want. This is school you want me to go to. This is perfect. And I felt it in my heart like that I was supposed to do it. There was no doubt in my mind that it was from him. So I apply no other school I applied to specifically to this one school. I get in, get accepted. Tuition is pretty high. No idea how that's <laughs> going to pay that. I'm not even worried about it. Not a piece of my mind is thinking, hmm, how am I going to afford that? Yeah, there's a question, but I'm not dwelling on it. Do I have some plans to? Of course. I'm not just going to sit down on my bed and twiddle my thumbs. I still have a plan and I'm listening to what God tells me to do. But I am living a faithful life. And that's why I want to give you guys this advice. I don't think that true true absence of fear you know living with anxiety and worry like if you were to conquer that without god i really just feel like that would kind of be half half assed excuse my language it's not going to be as complete as it should be because you're going to be pursuing things that aren't going to give you the true joy that it's meant to be so you know if you wanted to be a fearless person and you didn't operate off of faith but you operated through trusting yourself completely you're going to fail because we are not complete people. We are not infinite. We are finite human beings. So if you just fully rely on yourself, what's really going to come from that? There's going to be a lot a lot more setbacks. And if you just stay with God, it's like you literally have the creator of the universe directing you. So wouldn't that make more sense than you trying to direct yourself? I think that's pretty much it for today. I hope that message helped any of you guys. Continue to stay in prayer. Continue to stay in God's word. That the word transforms you in the way that you were meant to be molded. I cannot emphasize that enough. If, if Jesus was here today, he would be telling you, oh, this is me. I'm going to I'm gonna go leave, but this book is everything you'll need. And I'm, I'll be sending an advocate, the Holy Spirit, for you. So if you say, God, please give me the desires to read your scripture. But... Bye, follow me and like my video. Bye.